What up everybody? I'm changing my coilovers on my 2003 Honda Civic. They're pretty beat up, the ones I got right now, so I needed a new set of coilovers. So I got these cheap eBay ones. They were like 260 max speed. They're not that bad. I've had them in another car before. Um, they're pretty squeaky, but some WD-40 fixes that, so. I'll show you guys how to change this coilover. All right, so you can see these are the ones on there right now. They're pretty, well, this one's on, so I can't shake it a little bit, but you can see they look terrible. I actually have the other one out from the other side because I already took it out. But this whole thing in the middle, I forgot what's it called. But this right here is blown. And when you drive it, like the car shakes because the shock is off. I'll show you in a second. All right, so you're gonna need a 12 for the brake line. And then you're gonna need a 22, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, 22 for these bolts for the shock that are holding the shock. So let's take those out and get this shock off. Well, you need to take these two, but I leave that for last so the shock doesn't drop. Also, you need to take this bolt off and then the shock will just drop down once you take the ones on top. All right, so this bolt has this pin that goes through it to lock it. So you gotta take that out. And then this is a 17 and here we go. Man, this gun is so useful. So now, sometimes this gets hard here, so you want to hit it here, so it can pop out. All right, so after a few hits with the rubber hammer, you got it off. Now, over three. Now we just take out the 315s on top, and it'll drop down. Second coil over is out. This looks pretty beat too. But the other one was worst. Um, let me put the other one on the side. So now I gotta adjust it the same size as the one I already put in the passenger side so I got a tape measure I tape measure the spring and then tie in it here right here so it doesn't move around I mean you're supposed to tie it because if not your your spring is gonna go loose so let's do that right now
right, so the coilover is good now. I adjusted it to the same height as the other one, but gotta go clean this. All right, so let's put this coilover back on. I believe it goes. So we got it installed on top, 315s. And now, uh, and here to the shot. All right, so I got the two bolts on. Now I need to tighten this one and the brake line and that's it. These two bolts are tight. The brake line is on. The top ones are tight, so we're good to go. Put the wheel back on, and then let's see how how it does. All right. So now to take out the back coilover, you need to take a a bolt right here, the 17 millimeter, and then you got 114 right there. And another one in the back. You won't be able to see it that good. So, yeah. Right there. That other 17. Right there. I mean, 14. And then this one. Your shot needs to drop down. So I got the new one installed. I just need to put the the bolt from here to grab the shock and then I'll be done. All right, so let me show you how, how bad these shocks were. You can see they're not good for nothing. That's not supposed to go down that quick. It's supposed to go down. Well, it's not supposed to go down, but if I let it go, it's all messed up. These are going to the trash. And well, the springs, I'm gonna take these. I had to change out for the new, these are the new springs. And I had to put the old ones back on the front shocks because they were too um, thick and they wouldn't go down that much. So I maxed out the coilover and it's still too high. The car was still too high. So. I changed these, so these are now going to a new project that I'll be posting soon on the on the channel. And I don't know about these, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll show you how the car. It's pretty dirty, but sitting all right. So yeah, 